Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot reading, August 19th to August 25th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we are going to jump right into it. That should be good enough. And the first card, which stands for the topic of your Sagittarius week, that is going to be the Queen of Cups, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome. This is going to be the King of Cups, followed by our next one, which stands for the positive aspect of the week. That will be the Nine of Swords. And then the last one here, it will be the guidance the Tarot is offering to you this is going to be the Page of Swords. Wow. Uh, you, well, you are to avoid some sort of a, a trap uh, throughout, throughout the week, guys. <clears throat> a trap which is unintentionally um, placed from this person here who is the King of Cups. And uh, from another side, you do have the Queen at your side, which is... Um, let's say, opening your eyes for what the reality of the situation truly is. So before we go into all that, let's run the cards one more time down. And the first one, it is the Queen of Cups, which stands for the topic, followed by the next one, which is the challenge here. And that will be the tempting offer or shoot by the King of Cups, followed by the next one, which is the, the uh, positive aspect of the week for you. That will be the Nine of Swords and then the the next one or the last one that we do have here guidance wise it is the page of swords this is just this follow-up there is no way how you can mistake it with the page with the nine of swords here with the king and with the king and with the queen well it looks like that uh, like i said there will be some sort of a temptation that you will find it very uh, difficult to resist all right and uh uh, this temp temptation not necessarily is going to be bad for you at all. It is just, you know, it's not going to serve for your greater purpose, okay? And the job of the Queen of Cups, which is the very topic of your week here, this card, is to make you aware, you know, that uh, at the end of the day, feeling being, being happy, it's all that matters, right? You can swim... In the ocean of money but money cannot buy you love money cannot buy you health all right money cannot buy you happiness so everything that matters it's you ending up happy and this is the job that this queen here that person here is determined to do for your favor now the queen of cups very well understands what you are going through very well understands what you need very well understands the plights that you are experiencing at this very moment. A very faithful companion, motherhood figurine, you know, or simply your partner into a relationship or career, a person who is always willing to lend you a uh, or to give you a, a shoulder to cry on. Now, 
the solo purpose of the Queen of Cups is to make you aware that sometimes it's better to wait rather than to jump in the first thing that comes at your sight, right? Um, this is simply how the Queen of Cups works and also, like I said, you know, is to uh, nurture the, 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 the feelings of your heart, or of your heart, excuse me, and through that nurturing you are to find yourself rather transformed. The accompanied card here it is the Queen of Wands, the formation, it is a uh, passive enemies that we do have. So uh, again, a, a testament for that, it, it is not about lucrivity, it is not about success, it's all about a emotional fulfillment, that this person here is gonna fight for you. Yes, the opportunity that the King of Cups is giving you could be lucrative, okay? It could be a very promising one, but in the same time, it could cost you a lot as, as um, uh, uh, as an, an expense of your emotional state. I mean, it could be a, a proposition for a new job that is going to be extremely stressful. There is going to be a lot at stake on the line and etc. etc. And while uh, the, the first two cards are pointing to a person who likes to see you succeed, who likes to see you happy, all right? Um, <clears throat> What was I about to say? Yeah, while they want to see you happy, they want to see you happy not at all cost in a sense of that you don't have to uh, go to the extreme, you know, and sacrifice your well-being for being lucrative or for being, you know, necessarily in a relationship, let's say, because that could be a person coming around proposing you in a relationship and this First one, which is the topic of your week, your mother, you know, or your best friend or whatever, could see behind the curtains here, could see that this 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 one proposes you out of selfishness, all right? And they don't really love you, let's say, but they just want to, to sleep with you, let's say, okay? And that's why they are trying to open your eyes so you can see the consequences of an action that's uh, of a certain action you taking on this opportunity so here the challenge is to resist this um this tempting offer which is shoot at you by the king of cups it may not be only a tempting offer it could come as a form of help you know proposition to someone to lend you a, a physical help uh, while it seems that this help comes, you know, completely pure and sincere with nothing in return, but in reality, you know, that person has some nefarious schemes in mind. The accompanied card, it is the Ten of Cup, the Ten of Swords, excuse me, and you don't need to search for a better testament than that. Formation, um, passive neutrals, I, he simply doesn't care. He or she simply doesn't care how you end up at the end, you know. All that that person cares, it's the grand scheme of things. Simply put, simply put here, you are appearing as a, as a, only as a tool, all right? Tool that one can dispose as soon as that tool does its job, okay? So do not fall into the trap of temptation. It is what I am trying to say for you, Sagittarius, throughout this week, August 19th to August 25th. 2019 and even with the ten of swords you have to be rather how do you say it when you are um unyielding when it comes to refusing the offer all right you shouldn't leave a shred of doubt that you made up your mind for example that person comes around asks you to be with them you know in the relationship and you don't say i don't i, I want to think about it all right or you know we should see how it goes you should say either yes i want to do it or you should say either no i don't want to do it either way it should be your definitive answer to uh to the proposition while the queen of cups here as a topic of your week uh will encourage you to say rather no than yes and how do I know that the proposition will end up in a more uh, unfavorable manner? Well, it is in a challenging position, simply. It's, uh, it's in a position that works against you, okay? So that person works against you, even not premeditatively, you know, whatever he proposes, ultimately at the end, according to these cards, is going to end up against you. 
So the next one here is going to be the positive aspect of the week uh, and uh, that will be the Nine of Swords Sagittarius. So Nine of Swords is about standing against your fears uh, in the grand scheme of things. So in this particular sense, it's about realizing that everything doesn't, well, how do I say it, you know, the, uh, the, the goal that does not always justifies the means. I mean, you can be single for a so long that you are ready to jump with anybody coming at you. And this week, help um, through the help of the Queen of Cups, you may understand that the ultimate goal here is to end up happy, not to end up in a relationship, okay? A relationship in just, is just a phase of being happy, but ultimately at the end you need to end up happy and jumping in a relationship that may or may not make you happy. I don't know how to say it here, you know, I mean, you are to understand that sometimes it does not worth the risk. That is going to be a, a positive, the positive aspect of the week. The formation here, it is a active enemies. Uh, and the second card, the catalyst, it's the world. And you will very well understand that this isn't the end of the world. Literally said, you know, that is not going to be the last person in the earth that is going to approach you for a, for, a, for a relationship. This isn't going to be the very last offer that you're going to get for the rest of your life in regards to career as well, all right? So basically what you are going to adopt as a position here, it is that this is just one of a many opportunities which are coming in your way and following up into the future. And therefore, uh, you know, it doesn't look like that you're going to regret should you decide to deny the proposition. And the last card, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. This is the Page of Swords. So here, guidance-wise, the Page of Swords urges you to have the mental strength here, the, the mental and spiritual strength to acknowledge the fiction, to, to acknowledge the discernment of the fiction against the facts. Okay, so for example, someone approaches you, you have spent a couple of dates together and they tell you that they love you, all right? They have, they literally know nothing about you after two dates, how they can love you, you know? So this is a fiction, it is what that person is saying. So even though you may want to hear that, that person loves you, you need to have that mental strength and spiritual, spiritual and mental strength to acknowledge the, the the reality and discern it, differentiate it from the fiction. And the accompanied card here is going to be the Tree of Swords. It just kind of like a, supports the statement from the Page of Swords formation, active supporters here. It is that the truth may hurt you, all right, but the truth is only one and there is only one way to say it. If there is two ways to say upon something, then it's not true at all. So that being said, guys, yeah, you may be, um, you may feel discouraged at a certain stage that you will have to pass on the uh, on the proposal or of a helping hand, you know, or an opportunity that this King of Cups is uh, offering to you. But in the same time, you alone are going to uh, understand or realize that it is for the better. This ain't gonna make it any, uh, to feel any, any way better, you know, but it's gonna allow you to prepare yourself for the what is next to come. And eventually what is gonna come for you guys, it's the true opportunity that you need to be either happy into your relationships or either to be lucrative into your uh, career. Up until then, you should um, keep close to this Queen of Cups because that person really wishes you the best and they ain't gonna betray you for nothing in this world. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading August 19th to August 25th, 2019 Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we're gonna see each other around. Until then, bye.